So over here you can see that I got a bunch of path and then I have um, some shapes right here. Let's say for example I want to modify them. In that case I can go around and add, delete and convert the anchor points right here. So if I were to go around onto anchor points and if I were to go around and click right here then you can see that I can go ahead and add in anchor points right here and I can click and drag around right here wherever I want this like this and I can modify it out according to how I want. I can also go around and delete out anchor points. So I can delete this out right here. I can delete this out right here. Click on it and I can delete it out right there. Then I got a um, convert point right here which allows me to click and then what happens is that it simply goes around and I can click it out onto point and I can reiterate the curve right here. I can drag in the handles right here to go around to and change around the shape right here. Same goes with the shapes right here as well. So here you can see that I have this. So now I'm going to go around. Even though this was done with a curvature tool right here, you can still make it into points right here and then click and drag around to actually go around and then change around the curvature right here. You can also go around onto add and you can also click and drag around with the add tool right here to change around the curvature point right here. Click and drag around right here as you can see, move around the handles as well by using the uh, convert point tool right here just like this. Apart from that, you can also go around over here and then delete out the anchor points right here to smoothen things out as well. So that is how you can work around with adding, deleting and converting anchor points inside a photo P. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.